Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the lecture number 1 of chapter number 11, Human Eye and Colorful World. So today we are going to discuss about the introduction of this chapter as well as the construction of the human eye. So first of all, what we have already seen in chapter number 10 is that we are going to discuss that we have seen reflection of light, that how will the light reflect the laws of reflection mirrors and mirrors reflection refraction of light and according to that lens that is working on the principle of reflection of light then power of lens that we have seen in chapter number 10. Now in this chapter number 11 we are going to talk about that what is the function of the lens in human eye that how we can see the different objects with the help of the lens. Now lens are going to resolve problems in the human eye. So based on that we are going to define the defects of vision as well as its corrective actions. Then based on the atmospheric re refraction as well as the dispersion of the light, the phenomena that is rainbow formation that we are going to study about dispersion of light, new color of sky. So these are the things we want to discuss in this chapter. So first of all we are going to see that how the human eye is made. So as you can see the figure over here, the human eye. So as you can see the most outer part that is known as the cornea from which the light rays are first impinging on the human eye. Okay. Then after that this one is the pupil. This one is the iris. This is the lens of the eye that is known as the crystalline lens. This one is the aqueous humor and vitreous humor. This one is the retina where the image is formed. And this one is the optic nerve that is connected with our brain for identifying the different objects. So this is the construction of the human eye. Now we are going to understand the function of each and every part in the human eye. That what is the function of the cornea, iris, pupil. Then aqueous humor, crystalline lens, then retina, clear muscles, and optic nerves. So these are the major part of the human eye. So first part. So before that, we are going to talk about some basic introduction about the human eye. That it is the one of the most valuable and sensitive sense organ. And with the help of the human eye, we can see the wonderful world and the colors around us. So. Whenever the eye is closed, we cannot identify the different objects. But whenever the eye is open, we can see the different objects. So without eyes, we can identify the objects with the help of their smell, taste, and sound or touch. But from this, you can see that how much the importance of the eye is there in our human body. So human eye is a, like a camera. And uh, it's, it has a lens system that like in the previous figure we have seen the crystalline lens. So lens system that is a uh, light sensitive screen. The image is formed and that is called as a retina. Now one by one we are going to define the different parts and what is the function of the different parts that we are going to see. So first is cornea. So cornea again I am showing you in the figure that cornea. So this is the cornea, the outer side of the lens. So cornea, so most of the light rays are entering from the cornea. Then next one is the iris and pupil. So what is the function of iris and pupil? So iris is a dark muscular diaphragm that controls the size of the pupil. So sometimes uh, you have, might have observed that uh, more amount of light is entering in your eyes or less amount of light is entering in your eyes. So your eyes become contradictory. So this type of function is a function of the iris and the pupil. So pupil will regulate and control the amount of the light entering into the eye. Okay. Next is eye lens. So in the previous chapter we have talked so much things about lens that what is the function of lens. It is focusing on the principle of refraction. So here the function is same. The eye lens forms an inverted real image of the object on retina. So whatever the rays are coming from the cornea, iris and pupil 
after refraction from the eye lens it will be concentrated on the retina and next is ciliary muscles so first of all i am going to show you the location of the ciliary muscles so it is up and it is on the top and bottom part of the crystalline lens so what is the function of the ciliary muscles so it is providing the finer adjustment of the focal length required to focus the objects at the different distance on the retina so whenever the object is far or near so according to that it will adjust the focal length of the eye lens so this is the function of the ciliary muscles next we are talking about the retina it is the most important part previous figure we have seen the location of the retina it is behind the uh, lens and the retina is delicate membrane having enormous number of light sensitive cells so the retina is having a light sensitive cells that will be activated to generate the electric signal so whenever the light rays are impinging on the retina it will generate the electric signal and final one is a optic nerve so what is the function of the optic nerve so this signal whatever the signals are generated it will be sent to brain via optic nerve the brain interpret the signal and finally the process of information so then receives the object as they are so this is the function of the human eye thank you very much i think all of you are clear about the human eye and its parts